Illustrator CS does not have a layer comps feature like Photoshop does. Layer comps just allow you to save different combinations of layers, but you can create the equivalent in Illustrator using custom views. So what we do is we have, as you can see here, I'll just show you a couple of the different varieties of things I have, basically created different variations of the same logo that I'd like to be able to show to my client very, fairly easily without having to sit here and say, hold on a second while I hide these layers and show these layers and so on. So basically this is the way it works. We're going to say that that is our initial logo with these layers showing. So I'm going to go to the view menu. Now you can't see this, but right down at the very second from the bottom says new view. And that allows me to choose a new view. I'm going to choose, call this one orange, if I could spell, <laughs> orange text, black circle, so I know what it is, and click OK. And then we'll go here and do the black text with the blue circle. And we'll go back to that command called new view, and call this black text, blue circle, like this. Okay, and we'll do one more. We'll put the gradient in there, get rid of the blue, and add the orange text. So now we're going to go back once again to New View. Keep in mind that what I'm doing here is I'm showing different combinations of layers in the Layers palette and giving them a name. So I'll call it Gradient Version, and click OK. Now, down at the bottom of the, the view menu, and I'm going to film this separately so I can show you. There are three different uh, commands. I'm just going to choose one of them. Here's the first one, and you'll see it automatically is changing them. Here's the second one, and it's changed to that view. So basically, these allow me to basically show different views, different combinations of layers simply by using what's under the view menu. I can take this a step further by assigning keyboard shortcuts. I'll go to the keyboard shortcuts dialog box and change to the menu commands to view. Open that up and pull right down to the bottom here where it says new view and you'll see there is a keyboard shortcut that's already been assigned. I could assign different keyboard shortcuts to each one and then all I have to do is to switch between the different views is just press that keyboard shortcut. So here's what it looks like under the view menu at the very bottom. Here's my three views that I created, including the one with the keyboard shortcut here. So in order to change the look of my logo, I simply have to pick from that menu or use the keyboard shortcut to be able to look at the different views using the elements or in the layers palette. So you just have to turn the layers on or off and then create custom views as a way of looking at your logo with different designs.